Yeah. I'm at camp right now. I just sat down on the dock in this freaking $9 plastic Rennie's lawn chair that has a crack in the seat of it right now. And it's literally pinching my asshole as we talk. These plastic chairs, they, they, they're pretty good. I mean, $12.99, $9.99 or whatever. But when they do crack, and then you sit down and the crack opens enough and it mm, pinches on your asshole. Anyway, I just sat down. The biggest American bald eagle. Uh, people always say American bald. It's a bald eagle. What, what am I going to say? The biggest Portuguese bald eagle? No, no I'm not. It's a, I'm in America. It's an American bald eagle. This thing took off right from above me. All I heard was his wingspan. <laughs> like uh, Dungeons and Dragons or something. Like, a, it didn't even sound like an eagle. It sounded like it had the wingspan of a small Cessna. Looks so majestic, friggin'. Just bald, just like. They all look good, don't they? It's one of the only living creatures on Earth that looks superb. Every single one of them with a bald head. Humans, you know, some guys that are bald and even some ladies that are bald that have chose to shave their head, whatever, they look beautiful or they shave their head for other reasons. Sometimes they have an illness or something and, and you, who are, you girls, you look beautiful if you have, have to have done that. I think it's awesome. But a lot of guys will shave their head just because they're losing their hair. You gotta be the right guy to do that. I cannot do that. I mean, I guess I could if I just wore a hat forever, but I, I'm i a pipe cleaner with man tits. I would not look good <laughs> with a shaved head, with this face. That'd be bad. Some people just do really well with it. My cousin Wayne, from Westbrook, Maine, 54372, not a fan of salad, sweats in a resting position and eats a Charleston chew whilst on the shitter. He had great hair. This summer, for no reason, shaved his head. Came up to camp two days ago. Walked in, I was like, who's in the driveway? Is that George the Animal Steel? Or <laughs> who is that? It's Wayne. And I'm not even shitting you. He looked pretty damn good. I go, Wayne, you shaved your head. Yes, I did, Bob. Friggin' hot out. It's hot out. And I saved some money on shampoo and haircuts. I go, well, it's tough to argue with. I go, I gotta tell you, Wayne, you look pretty good. He goes, Bob, you ought to shave your head, too. Not really, Wayne. I'm getting old. I definitely don't have as much hair as I used to. He goes, just shave it, it'll look better. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> that's the dumbest advice I've ever heard. For anybody that's a little, that's like saying, you should got a couple crooked teeth. You know what you should do? Rip them all out. You look a lot better with no teeth. <laughs> Jeez, Bob, you got one nut hanging down a little older than the other. You know what you should do? Take both your nuts off. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. I think that's one of my boys. One of my sons just drove up on the four-wheeler up here at the Redneck Riviera. <laughs> All right. Hope that eagle comes back so majestic. I hope you had a great day. All right. I love you. What's today, Tuesday? Yeah, August, not bad, huh, friends? All right, here we go. All right, well, here comes the big boy. It was a big one. You got two boys, they're friggin' awesome, and a girl who's just beautiful and lucky. These babies, good babies. All right, I gotta go. What's the takeaway? Bald eagles are awesome. Friggin' Wayne looks good. I look like shit. And any lady that's ever had to shave her head looks beautiful. Okay, girls? All right? All right. I love you. Bye.